We are now treading through a time unprecedented in human history. It has all along been a time of loss, loss of lives, livelihoods, job opportunities, business prospects, invaluable teaching learning arts, unforgettable moments with the near and dear ones and many more. The way our people have stood up over the past two years of the pandemic is nothing short of heroism. From Asha, Anganwadi workers to health professionals, from first respondents to the civil societies, teachers, students and parents, farmers and entrepreneurs, the real strength of the people of our state was on full display. I take this opportunity to command my government and public officials who continued to work round the clock with the public health experts to ensure that we are taking the right and timely step to vaccinate people in the eligible age group, contain the spread of this virus, and balancing the economy wheel of the state to keep it moving. Based on the principles of healthy Odisha, happy Odisha, and health care for all, each life matters. My government has ensured universal access to equitable, affordable, and quality health care services accountable and responsive to the people's needs. The overall transformation of public health facilities in the state has resulted in people posing greater faith and trust in our public health institutions. Odisha's phenomenal progress in health sector is primarily attributable to implementation of more than 15 mega schemes and several result-oriented health system strengthening measures. Biju Swastha Kalyan Yojana is a universal health assurance scheme to provide free health services to all. Smart health cards to 96 lakhs. Economically vulnerable families under Biju Swastha Kalyan Yojana have also been provided by my government. This is one of its kind and first such initiative across the country in technology-driven delivery of public health care services, which ensures cashless treatment of rupees 5 lakh for all members and rupees 10 lakhs to the women members of a family for treatment of critical ailments in identified private hospitals inside and outside the state. My government has approved the Postgraduate Institute of Medical Science and Research at Capital Hospital in Bhuneshwar, which will improve tertiary health services and medical examination. Further, the construction work of two new medical colleges at Keonjar and Sundargarh with 100 intake capacity of MBBS students is under process. The admission process for MBBS students with 100 intake capacities in Shri Jagannath Medical College and Hospital, Puri has already begun during 2021-22. My government has identified 150 Ayush dispensaries and 5,028 urban and rural health, primary health centers and sub-centers for upgradation as Ayush health and wellness centers across the state. My government has addressed human resource issues in health sector through restructuring of Odisha Medical and Health Services cadre, providing place-based incentives for doctors, creation of corpus fund for difficult areas, transparent HR management policy for medical officers, and creation of 2,508 posts for doctors, 400 posts of dental center, and 5,719 posts of paradigmics that would further strengthen the health services in the state. We have been continuously monitoring patients' feedback through most Sarkar initiatives, strengthening ancillary services under Nirmal scheme with investment of about Rs. 2,000 crores over a period of five years, formulating health care investment promotion policy and increasing public health spending, which now stands at around 2% of the gross state domestic product during the year 2021-22. All our medical colleges are now equipped with RT-PCR facilities and VRDL for COVID testing. And to tackle any future public health emergency, COVID-19 vaccination drive has been successfully undertaken in the state with administration of more than five crore doses. To successfully combat and manage public health emergencies in future, my government is taking sincere steps to establish a robust network of public health laboratories and public health units up to block level throughout the state. My government's continued thrust on capital outlay and infra infrastructure in the state budget has enhanced productive capacity of our economy in the 2021-22 budget estimates. Rupees 25,788 crores of capital outlay has been provided, which is 4% of GSDP. This higher capital outlay, with its multiple effect, 
would help in rapid and strong growth rebound and in recovering the state economy. During the current financial year, 171 bridge projects have been completed, 815 kilometers of road have been improved, and 868 kilometers of rural roads have been completed by incurring expenditure of rupees 2,807 crores under different schemes by December 2021. As our railway serves a low-cost, high-volume carrier of bulk cargo and passengers in the supply chain management, my government has identified it as a priority area and has plans to cover all 30 districts with railway connectivity over the next few years. We have collaborated with the railways to fill the availability gap wherever required. Taken several initiatives by farming joint ventures, special purpose vehicles with the railways and other ministries to construct new rail lines and corridors and have been directly funding construction of new railway lines besides providing free land and far new railway projects. My government has notified 14 potential locations for development of non-major ports in the state, out of which two non-major ports, Dhamra and Corp, Gopalpur, are now operational. Another two non-major ports, Swanmal, Ekha and Astranga, are in the pipeline. We are also taking steps for development of a river and port in River Mahanadi in Kendrapada districts. Two inland water transport projects, development of ROPX, Jetty and Allied Infrastructure, Kaninali in Bhadrak district, to Talchiwa in Kendrapada district, and at Balgwa in Khurda district, to Krishan Prasad Gada in Puri district have been included in the Sagarmala project. On the air connectivity front, we have commenced regular flight operations along two new air routes from Biju Patnaik International Airport, Bhubaneswar to Jaipur International Airport in Rajasthan from 1st of November 2021 and to Dabolim International Airport in Goa from 1st of December 2021. This will further strengthen air connectivity and boost tourism in our state. We have also developed the Jhasugoda Airport to a full-fledged commercial airport with commencement of flight operations from March 2019. My government is taking steps for construction of a new Sri Jagannath International Airport at Puri to boost the tourism sector in Odisha. My government is committed to provide quality and reliable power supply to all the building quality power infrastructure across the state. Huge investments have been made to enhance the generation capacity and to strengthen the transmission and distribution infrastructure. Now Odisha is a power surplus state with a very robust transmission system of 15,012 circuit kilometer of extra high tension lines and 22,473 22, megavolt ampere installed capacity by December 2021. My government, in order to fulfill the objectives of economic growth with social justice, has set up public enterprises to harness local resources of the state and create employment opportunities. At present, there are 36 working PSUs in the state in power, agriculture, finance, infrastructure, and manufacturing sector. Majority of the PSUs are profit-making with a turnover of rupees 26,777 crores and profit of rupees 1,403 crores in aggregate during 2018-19. During 2021-22, the COVID-19 induced economic slowdown resulting in loss of jobs and livelihoods the demand for work under Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Scheme showed up for wage employment. Around 21 crore percent days wage employment were generated against the target of 20 crores by spending an amount of rupees 5,840 crore during 2020-21. 37 lakh households were provided employment, benefiting 62 lakh persons. During 2021-22, we have been able to generate 17 crore percent days of wage employment to around 32 lakh households and 51 lakh persons by December 2021. My government introduced the Urban Wage Employment Initiative, Mukhya Mantri Karam Tatpar Abhiyan during 2022 to address the need of the urban wage and earners. An amount of rupees 400 crores have already been spent, providing 26 lakh percent days of wage employment. Further, my government rolled out 6,320 urban infrastructure projects under Mukta with an investment of Rs. 700 crore to be completed by 2022-23. 
Our state has received the fifth Ganjo Award in recognition of innovation in improving social, economical, environmental sustainability in cities and regions through its Urban Wage Employment Initiative, Mukta. My government announced a special package during January 2020 to strengthen socio-economic standard of migrant workers and gradual reduction in distress among people in migration prone 477 gram panchayats of 20 blocks in the districts of Bolangir, Bargad, Kalahandi, and Nuapar. Around two, rupees 264 crore has already been spent from state corpus fund towards additional wages by 200 days under Manrega. My government has initiated several programs for the holistic development of a rich handlooms and handicrafts tradition. The craftsmanship of our artisans and beavers is one of the best in the country. This sector provides ample scope for self-employment both in urban and rural areas. During the year 2021-22, my government has provided Rs. 169 crore in the state budget for development of this sector. <coughs> 1,341 beavers above 60 years of age are availing monthly social security assistance under Varishtha Bunkar Sahayata Yojana. My government has also introduced the new initiative, Mukhya Mantri, Mayan Jyoti, to provide lighting units with unit cost of Rs. 17,500 per family to 2,000 weaver families during 2021-22. Geographical indication registration of Pippaliapalik, Odisha, Patchitra, and Konark stone carving have been made, and we have already applied for GI registration of silver filigree of Katak, and steps for GI registration of brass and bell metal craft of Kantlio and golden grass craft of Kendrapada will be taken up very soon. Around five lakh micro, small, and medium enterprises have already been established in our state with a total investment of rupees 24,341 crores.